back up at Cenotaph for trip two of the boat build. We are just about out of full fabrication actually. Oh, Brad's just finishing off the welding and all the bits and pieces. I think he's on the back transom at the moment. I'm up here to work out where all the camera mounts are going, light mounts and all the bits and pieces. Senator's new design options. Basically what Senator's done is come up with a whole heap of different design options that you could jump on the website, go through, choose your different transom, whether you want transom cages or non-transom cages, choose your different seating arrangement, club seating, your bunks, your toilets. So you can actually go on the website, download the PDF and actually choose all these different options. So you've got heaps of design options from Senator. So I'm back up here today and back up at the factory to go through the build with the boys. But I'm not sure if Brad's still on at the moment. Has Brad gone? Brad's gone, eh? Brad's gone. Slacker. Must finish early. But anyway, here is a detergent 2.0. with a mask in the factory guys I'll go through and show you we were up to anyway with that so all the pods done the main pods done the back chanson's half done he's putting the tuna tubes at the moment put all the lighting brackets finish the drawer under the floor the back cages are all on so I can sort of show you through all the bits and pieces now anyway let's have a look the one thing we were talking about before is the pod rocker switches they're all going to be up on the pod here in front of the steering wheel. So not these side switches that go down here. They're going to be up here across the top here. And then you've got the higher pod here which sits up here. The other main thing we've done is we've got the Hellmaster X. And we've actually mounted that out the back. And Brad has done a legendary job with that. I can punch it into reverse or go forward, fish lock it, anything right there from the outside. That is an absolute game changer, especially when we're fishing with slow jigging in deep water. I can just stand here and reverse it forward, it, steer it from here without having to go inside the boat there to do all the steering. Absolute game changer. Brad's just doing transom, so going over it with all the lads today, it's pretty outstanding actually. All the little features. The lads have designed a little uh, rocket switch thing in here with a USB and these switches here are going to do quickly be able to turn on those back deck lights and then they've got all the other main switches out there. Me and Adam have done the bait board today. What are we calling that? The, oh, the, the master four, beta. The master beta? The master, but the, master beta. Is that going to be the 600, 800 and 800 premium than the 800 master beta? Yeah, 600, 800 and then no, I don't think we're having a premium. I think Not premium, just, just the master, master beta. beta. So we went through and have changed the bait board. So my bait board lines up with senators. Which always when you're talking, eh? Oh, in the workshop it's always like this. At least, at least most of the guys have gone. It's only when you're having the important conversations does it occur though. Yeah. <laughs> but now nah, uh, the lads have done pretty well on this. It's all sort of coming together now. What do you reckon? In, in the next week before it's done? Yeah, it's probably about week. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've got to do your bait board now, so probably two or three. <laughs> Don't, that's your bait board, remember? You designed that. <laughs> I've got some uh, design improvements for it now, too. Yeah, so then it, it wouldn't be a problem then anyway. It just depends on, um, on the overall diameter. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it's coming down that line. That's like... So at the moment, I think this this is going to get changed. I'm going to modify yeah. this, and probably we'll just bring another one of these plates out, um, so that it's the same shape all the way along. It'll be like a oh yeah, universal shape. Yeah, it'll just be the same. But essentially, this is hopefully yeah. So it'll look. 
something like that. I'll continue. What I'm going to do here is once we once we're happy with the the spacing of the rod holders, I will do a clean like redraw it, re-import it into this. So because at the moment this is all still quite in draft. Yeah. So all we need to do is uh, decide what we want for the positions of the rod holders, and then remodel it and make sure that we're happy with it. I've got you two drains on there now. So Sweet. Yeah. That's all sorted. Day three at Senator. Went out for dinner last night with the team. That was awesome to catch up, chill out, talk about all sorts of different cool stuff. Back at the factory, accommodation was awesome last night. Got up this morning pretty early. Actually, I didn't sleep very well. The bed and that was amazing. I was just too too excited about uh, the build and thinking about the build. So I think I woke up every about 15, 15 to 20 seconds. Got up, had a coffee nice and early. Grant came and picked me up. Went and had brekkie. Yeah, no, accommodation was good once, finally for me. No, uh, what do you call it? Bed bug, bed bugs, eh? Yeah, no bed bugs. Gave Adam an idea. So, what's your role, design master? Design, design, yeah. Design. design. You can go with that. So we, <laughs> I gave Adam an idea yesterday about having. Uh, we and, give away some secrets now, do you? Are we going to do that or not? Nah. Maybe nah. Not. Okay, we. <laughs> I'll cut what we were just talking about because we've got a new secret happening. But uh, yeah, I'm talking to Adam about a few things and. He's a bit of a master in ideas, so I've got, I've got him into a new project uh, for the boat. I've got you out of control now, haven't I? <laughs> Me and Adam been working on a few things. He doesn't want to tell anyone what's going on, but yeah, I started him on this little side project and now he's out of control. It's pretty cool actually what we've got planned. Day three up here. It's been awesome being up here for the build. Yeah, wicked, wicked accommodation, which I've gone on about, because I'm surprised they even got good accommodation, to be fair. Just going in now to see Go and see Brad. I think we're going to talk through. Oh, overnight last night, I was talking about a few things um, that I wanted to probably change. I'll go and catch up with him. Front of the boat here. So at the front here, I've got Brad's put the light bar in here. That's because up the top there, that light bar always hits the front here, and you can't actually see. So having the light bar here, it's going to shine down the water, and I don't get that reflection back over the top too. So. That's a cool little feature. Brad's in the background. Hey, carry on working, please. Let's talk, you two. Look at this. <laughs> right, we're going to see what these boys are up to. Brad's just doing the tuna tubes. Yeah, mate. So they're gonna mount in right in that corner right there. It's on uh, starboard side or driver's side. Actually, they're gonna really be more barracuda tubes, dude. What's that, sorry? Barracuda tubes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're not really tuna tubes, they'll be well, barracuda. Do those, do we don't really get tuna. Well, we do get tuna, albacore, but most people up north use them for uh, live baiting for marlin and that, but we're gonna use them for cuda. Oh yeah, sweet. Oh, uh, where are you at? Oh, Have you got any time to shoot the shit this morning? Have a bit of a yarn? Yeah. yeah man, do you want to jump on? Yeah, I'll go I'll grab my um oh, I was thinking last night I didn't sleep very well. Oh yeah. So thinking of too many things. <laughs> we can go through it. Is that alarm for smoko? Uh, for the standard smoko, yeah. Oh yeah. We um we mix it up at the moment due to COVID, so we kind of split out split our smoko groups up. Oh yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Are you on the second group or is it multi tiers? I don't know. I just kind of sometimes I forget. And I just, <laughs> just go. Just now, go yeah. and feel like something. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty good. Yeah. All right. How much threads this got? Is that still going? Yeah. Oh, oh there we go. Right, a little modification Brad's done is this yesterday was a track that went that height all the way along and Grant was saying that it doesn't hold all your condiments and all that so to carry on tea and coffee and stuff. 
So Brad's changed that there and made it a little bit higher. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool there. And my little switch panel here and USB charger. Brad's done a sick job on that. So now outside I can just do the lights here so I don't have to go up to the main hill or rocker switch. And I can charge my phone here. Happy days, happy days. Yeah, so that seat folds up and then under there, that's the oven and the cooker and all that sort of carry on. We've got storage in there and there'll be a swab on the back there as well. And that swab will come off and are we still doing a rigging tray? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. So you yeah. can set up all your bits and bolts. Yeah. Grant is gonna explain quickly the pontoons. He'd probably do it better than me anyway. I did a pretty average job. So, Grant, what do we got? Uh, so, pontoons, we've got two seal pontoons each side of, of the hull. So, starting from the bow all the way down, sealed completely uh, tied in to the floor, and we've got sealed compartments next to the floor tank. So, one sealed compartment on each side of the floor tank. And we've also got another completely sealed compartment so that's the beauty of a senator. Family safety is probably the most important thing. And what I, I love about senator, not only is their ride on the water, in horrific conditions, I mean, you guys see the content. We're not fair weather fishermen, our lads. The beauty of it is room, space, safety for your family. No matter what, there's no way you will sink this boat. One of the things we often get asked about is tow space on each side of the deck. And um, one of the things that we really pride ourselves on is the strength of our hulls. And we're not willing to compromise that by cutting corners. With our hull and our floor runners and the pontoons, they, that's why they meet in this corner, so that they're not compromised. If you try and cut a corner for extra tow space in this area, you're gonna compromise the hull strength of the boat. To be fair, we've got truckloads of tow space in the biggest deck in class. The afternoon on day three, and we're just going over a heap of um, media stuff and that. Getting ready for the release of the big new rig, which is cool. Pretty cool few day days up here again. And, oh, there he is. Oi. You on Smoko again? Yeah, 12, 12 per day usually. What do you think, the boat's taking so long? <laughs> Get back out there. Awesome trip up to Senator for the second trip. Boat's looking so cool, some new features on the way. We're in fabrication now, so I think the end of next week it'll be finished. Then it'll go into um, fit out, so the guys will be putting all the swabs and carpet in and all that, nav lights, the other bits and pieces. Then it'll be coming to Havens for the full fit out. Un unbelievable, like I'm so, what do you even say, you know, like three years of, four years slugging away doing all these videos and to finally have Yamaha come on board, Simrad come on board, Senator come on board. Yeah, get this wicked machine into the south here for some flog epic missions. But yeah, also guys, it wouldn't have happened without all your support, comments and likes and shares and all that sort of stuff. This would have uh, never happened and your motivation to make me keep on doing it. So massive thanks to you guys for your support. You're all bloody legions. I'm looking forward to the new missions and the new beast. We've got some uh, unlimited bad ideas on the way. Once again, guys, stay safe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.